What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today I was going to do a little live commentary. I'm going to try to get back into doing these. I used to do them a good bit years ago when I first started messing around with YouTube, but my PlayStation still may be running a little loud. You'll have to let me know in the comment section down below if it's too annoying, but I have a day one PS4 and I finally took it completely apart uh, and got it cleaned out. So it's not sounding quite like a jet engine anymore, but like I said, it is a day one PS4, so it's not exactly uh, whisper cry quiet either so if it's too annoying just let me know but I want to do a live commentary because I, I, I just enjoy doing them I, I've always have always have enjoyed doing them uh, I always think it's a lot of fun I used to like doing commentaries with some of my friends and stuff and do you know like kind of like a, a, a group chat you know while we're playing and kind of just upload that and let you see just kind of raw gameplay footage you know that kind of thing so Hope you guys enjoy this. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're enjoying Modern Warfare. Are you playing it? What platform you've been you have been playing it on? Uh, what's your favorite maps, guns, that kind of thing? This is uh, it's it's been a lot of fun. It's a learning curve, in my opinion. I think it's uh, something that you have to. It takes a while to learn to play. Uh, for me personally, I've been playing a lot of Red Dead lately. Some Call of Duty World War II, but this is just, of course, a different feeling game than even Call of Duty World War II is. So it's um. Uh, Something that's taken a while for me to learn how to, you know, get back in the rhythm of playing since it's been a while since the beta's been out. And, of course, having to get all the things un unlocked for the weapons, because there's a lot of unlocks. There's a lot of levels on a lot of these weapons. And some of the things that I was running in the past in the beta, I don't even have access to yet. So, And plus, another one of those games you really can't. It's hard to just run around to begin with until you get the right attachments. Because if you just run around, you can get caught out a lot, you know, sprinting and that kind of thing. And kind of gets you screwed over, but... Really have been enjoying using this M4 again. It does seem to perform a little bit different, in my opinion, uh, than it did in the beta. I think it may be, like I said, because of attachments, that kind of thing. But uh, I also like the Kilo. It's another good AR. I've always been an AR fan. I used to be a really big sub fan. Of course, I haven't played with too many of the subs yet in here. The P90 I've messed with a little bit. I really did enjoy using it for that little bit of time. And I unlocked the blueprint for the MP7, that rare blueprint. I haven't really uh, tried it out too much yet. I've just been trying to grind out some of these weapons and actually get some of this stuff unlocked, you know, for these weapons because 50 to 70 levels is a, is a lot of levels to have to unlock weapons and things on. That was almost a bad decision. And I also can't decide if I am a fan of Dead Silence or not yet. I do like Dead Silence to a point, you know, because if, if you have not used it yet, you know, it's... You can pop it, you know, it... it, it Regens quickly, you know, it's not a perk now, it's actually, you know, instead of using the ammo, you have to use dead silence, you know, whatever you use in that, you know, little spot, but for me, the thing I don't really care for about it is it doesn't really last that long, even though it does have a fast regen timer on it. The other thing is, once you, once you use it, you know, like I said, it doesn't last long, well, the good thing is it's, if you get kills while it's active, it resets the timer, so you can just keep kind of going with it, as long as you're racking up kills, but same time sometimes it's kind of hard to do and if you sprint you do not have this complete silence you know you're kind of you're still able to be heard somewhat so it's kind of annoying as well but we'll see if we can get this VTOL and there it is oh I gotta I should have never done that I should have never called that in but It'll work now. It'll, it's good enough. This is probably so far one of my favorite maps. Now, I'm still tr kind of torn on the, the playing team deathmatch. I'm kind of torn on the, the 10v10 being, you know, to kind of, you know, either play 10v10 or 6v6 because sometimes it just throws me off to go from a game of 6v6 to a game of 10v10, you know, the next round. But I do like a lot of the 10v10 maps. But it can get kind of annoying if you, uh, you know, you try to move around too much, too fast, because there's a lot of clutter. There's a lot of buildings, a lot of places to hide, a lot of places to get to different angles. So it's kind of hard to just, you know, fly around the map, per se. Well, that worked, even though I almost got stuck in the door. Come on. 
too sure where these guys are spawning. I figured there wasn't very many of them left there. Getting beat pretty bad here. <laughs> 45 to 15. Maybe it'll fill back up. If not, it's going to be a, a, a slow four minutes that's left. Had some games like that earlier with the uh, 10 v 10. It, I've had a few that just did not fill up the lobby on one team or the other, and it just takes a long time. Some of those maps are big, and it takes a long time, even if you have 10 on 10, and it's playing slow. But I've also had some games of 10 v 10 where it's just been, you know, outright slaughter for either side, and so people just back out and it doesn't seem to fill it up. So it kind of makes it even slower when it comes down to it. I still definitely tell that I'm learning the maps because things like that I'll get to watch in one area where I think people should be coming from and there's little alleys or corners or you know other things that people can kind of be hanging out in. Starting. Heard him coming. Reloading. There should be another one somewhere. Yep, there. Let me know if y'all guys have been using the snipers too as well. Some of these snipers and some of these shotguns, even the pistol, this pistol here, um, of course, I think it's the, what, 726 or something like that. I'm using the, the version that, you know, you got with for pre order and, you know, the, 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 the version you got with it and, you know, how it already has attachments and things on it. But uh, I, some of these pistols, some of these shotguns and these snipers, if you can, if you can hit your shots with a the sniper, they're pretty impressive. Been doing a little sniping off and on on some of these maps. I get, I get caught. I get caught again. And also, I, I have noticed a lot of people using uh, smoke with the infrared scope on a sniper. But I have heard. I'm not sure because I, I don't have the infrared unlocked. But I have heard that uh, you cannot see through the smoke with an infrared. So I found that kind of interesting. You would have thought that uh, that would be kind of a given if you're going to use an infrared and smoke that you'd be able to see through it. One of them. I don't know about the other guy. I think there's somebody overhead. else right here. Good thing to get a 24. I keep hearing UAVs and I start to panic. I forgot now that I'm a 24. I do have a do have ghost unlocked, so I don't have to worry about as uh, as much of the UAV spam. There's a lot of personal UAV spam, especially to start with, when everybody has a hard line on. Well, that was an horrible shooting on my part, y'all. That was just potato aim. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, whenever, um, uh oh, there's another guy here. I forgot what I was about to say. I got to concentrating too much. Try to see if I can get somebody with a pistol, but that kind of failed. These guys are just kind of hanging out back here. This just happens a lot on this map. I Oh, I thought I was going to get him right there. Let's see where he's at when I stand back up. Got one. I think he had a, a friend with him. Or either, no, yeah, or, so we might trade killed there, but I think he had somebody with him. With the FAMAS, it looks like. Whoa! That was not a good spawn. I have noticed the spawns do not flip very often, which I am a fan of to a point. Um, you know, I don't think you should flip just because one person's in your spawn, but at the same time, I don't think they should be able to stand here and just spawn kill you either, even though. Well, this game started out well, Vito. Got the, got the Wilson, and then it's kind of gone downhill from there. But at least we're still going to get the win. It was a fun, uh, it was a fun time doing a, a, another live live commentary. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you enjoy these. I'll do some more throughout, you know the game's life cycle. Of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And if you do have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And we'll look at the scoreboard here and see how we finish. 23-9, and nine, not too bad of a game. Like I said, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Leave me a comment if you did, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.